Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at some of the file functions like the file base name, file directory, file extension, file name, file path, file size and file time. So these are some of the functions which are available, not some, I would say most of the function which are available within the ClickSense which you can utilize to get the relevant information for the file that you are loading. All right, so let's go into the data. And here is a quite a big file related to the HR analytics data, uh, which I am loading over here. And let's say I want to get uh, some of the statistics or some of the metadata information about this file. So what I'll do is I will put a comma after the last field and start adding the uh, those file functions. So first of all, file base name and uh, we need to give it a name as file underscore base underscore name comma so here we just need to provide the function no need to provide any argument or anything because it will going to extract the relevant information from the file then you have file dir call it as file underscore dir then you have file extension as file underscore extension then you have a file under file name to get the name of the file as file underscore name comma you have file all right some issue comma you have file path as file underscore path then you have a file size file size as file underscore size and finally the file time these are the one which i had mentioned in the front end so file time file underscore time and since it is the last one i will not going to add any comma and uh, as you can see script is working fine so hit the save button hit the load button come to close and then come to analysis so over here what i'll do is um, i will just put this a little bit up and uh, create a table in this table i will just keep taking the those dimension related to the file so i will come over here from the add column dimension i will just enter the file so file base name hr analytics data that's the base name of the file that means without the extension then you have, I will add one more dimension, which is again file dir. So that's the file. Basically, that's a click sense for a file directory location where this particular file is stored. Then you have uh, another file function, which is file extension. It's a CSV file. Then you have file extension we have done file name now it's a complete file name as compared to the file base name you have the extension information along with the name of base name of the file then you will add one more dimension which is file path this is little bit long path this was more of a file directory this is more of a file path the complete file path along with the file name then we will add one more file after file path you have size that's this information is in bytes and then you have the last one which is file time i'll click it over here and that's the time when the file was last modified so if i click on done you will see that uh, 22nd december 2019 was the last time when this file was modified so this is more of a metadata information which I wanted to show you in this video about how you can get it related to the file. Let's say you want it as part of your uh, uh, development environment or maybe to show it in the front end for some reasons you want to show what are the files you are loading maybe for the developer or maybe for the end user who are analyst and would like to see from, from which files the data is coming. So that's how you can use these different functions like uh, from file base name to file time to get the relevant information from your file. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video, the new topic.